Hello everybody, today we're going over the 2023 updates we should be seeing in Qcraft. Uh, this is as of the video that got posted from when I'm recording this about an hour ago, celebrating their 10th birthday, and today we're going to be breaking down that video on everything we should be expecting next year, because this could well and truly be the big comeback for Qcraft that overtakes the hive. Right, so the first thing we're going to be having a look at is this screenshot here. Uh, which I believe could be a brand new game mode, but I have no idea what. It looks like some kind of like Greek, maybe Roman buildings, maybe like an Atlantis type thing, but leave your suggestions of what you think it could be in the comments. I think it could be a new game mode, but it could be a new battle arena map, but we're going to have to wait and see. Right, next up I'm assuming this is probably the very anticipated Skyblock Nether update. But I'm not sure, I mean, it doesn't look like Skyblock, but it could well and truly be, because this has been teased for like a couple years now, which means this could lead to a lot more content creation in the Skyblock scene. Leading on from the additions of the Nether, I'm assuming there is going to be a big server update uh, where it goes to a brand new version. Uh, I understand this year there was actually an update that gave us some new things in a newer version, but this could potentially mean we could get a update in 1.20 giving us all the new items. Alright, next up we're going to talk about the Lucky Block update. Now, this is probably going to happen because the game hasn't had an update in a while, but in the video we can see a Diamond Lucky Block and another weird type of Lucky Block. Which could be cool because we're bringing a new side of content and just difference to a game that not many people play anymore. Alright, next up we probably have one of my favourite parts of the video, which is this screenshot of the new Skywars map. And as you can see, yes, there is a warden. This is going to be so much fun when it comes out and it's going to bring a much more chaotic side to uh, the industry. And also, I would love to see how this gets used in professional games. Also, just thought it's okay to mention in the video, but the Egg Wars shop, it's getting like its 17th update. Yeah, I don't know why they keep changing it. Jesus Christ, it was fine as it was. It was sure, it was hard to navigate, but no one cared. Continuing on the point of Egg Wars, there is a new enchant system in it which was kind of leaked a couple months ago when they changed the loot in Skywars and added Lapis. But this enchant system is really unique because it uses Emerald. Uh, this should bring an interesting side to the game, like imagine getting Fire Aspect. However, the problem with this is, in OP, all your gear is already enchanted, which is going to mean it's not really much use a third of the time. A couple of extra things that I thought I should add, tridents are going to be in the game and a new texture pack potentially for certain games. Uh, I know this has kind of already happened with like, you know, you can see the Sky Wars loot and Egg Wars and stuff and voting, uh, but it should add an interesting like texture feel. And also again, tridents, imagine getting Riptide and just flying around, it would be so much fun. Alright, just to finish off, we have this image, which is probably going to be the Egg Wars Season 2 lobby uh, when it changes, which is probably going to be midway through the year. Uh, there's some new things in there, so it should be interesting. Thank you all for watching, and if you've made it this far, you might want to consider subscribing, because I'm going to try and keep up to date on all of the new people things. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day.